I heard it many times. ChatGPT is my personal knowledge management tool. I personally consider it as a utility app and I don't think ChatGPT is there yet to be a proper personal knowledge management tool, even that it has some great features now, but it is not. In this video, I tell you how I use ChatGPT a lot and why it's still not my PKM system. Here we go, ChatGPT and let's bring in Heptabase. My ultimate goal is always not to scatter information. I don't want to have to search for, info, for my information the moment I need it. And the problem is there's so much going on in ChatGPT and you know discussions and so on. But also I'm doing deep insights inside Heptabase that if I would rely on both, I would constantly think about where do I find this now. Where, where did I store this? I've, I totally forgot already, especially if it is, you know, one month from now. So in another video, I talked about the differences between inner world and outer world and deep thinking and shallow thinking. And as you can see, I'm using Heptabase for shallow thinking. So where is now ChatGPT? It's not appearing here. Well, if at all, it would be my inner world and, well, it could be deep thinking and shallow thinking, depending on. The thing is, if I'm trying to solve a problem and I'm in Heptabase and take my notes, there are situations where I go to ChatGPT. Well, with, with the latest release, I can now directly integrate ChatGPT into Heptabase, which is amazing. So I can have my back and forth there. But let's stick for the normal problem that people have a lot going on in ChatGPT. So here's my ChatGPT. And even if you look here uh, on the side you know there's a lot going on okay back and forth it's not clear differentiating between my business and personal life and things like that so that's where ChatGPT becomes a utility app all i have to do is just to keep in mind that the discussion that i have like here you know there's a lot and people have hours and hours of discussing back and forth with ChatGPT and you're not going backwards in this chat. So how do you identify the place that you had the insights from and so on? No, no. What I need to do is I either go to share and I use the link to the conversation or I just simply use the link here and then I go to my Heptabase base and I paste the link there and write down the conclusions. So let's say these video chapters would be the conclusion. I would go to my Heptabase, create a new node, conclusions, and then in here I paste in the outcome from the chat. However, I then say source, and I can either put this on the top or bottom. And as I said, I would just copy the link and paste it here, boom. So now I have the conclusion, but I always have the context from the original conversation. So if I come back one month from now to this note that I take here, I'm always just one click away to get to the original conversation just with one click. And and therefore, if there's anything I missed when I was taking out the conclusions, I just can go backwards here. And if you internalize this method and you centralize everything into your main PKM system as the final destination, you will look at any other tools the same way. Because, for example, perplexity, what is iCore? And I search for this, right? And I get some insights from this. I can now simply go to share and copy the link. Or again, I just use the URL from there. And then I can do the same thing. My conclusions. So source and the conclusion, because obviously this is the, not the thing that I was searching for. It is this that I'm searching for. Boom, this is our ICO methodology. I have the refined output from what I found here, but I have always just one click. It opens up the relevant discussions here. And this is how I built up a very distilled PKM system where I only have the outcomes available to then look further into it to make deep thinking, but only one click away to get to the original point. And that's what I do with everything. If I have a discussion around a task in ClickUp or even from a different PKM system, that's how I interconnect everything together. And that's where even if I switch now from ChatGPT to Gemini or any other app that I use to get better insights, here is where everything comes together and I simply can link out to the original context. And this is how you leverage the external tools. Let me know in the comments below, do you use it the same way? Do you already centralize everything? If not, how is it going? Just using ChatGPT as your PKM system. Curious about that. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so I can catch you up in the next one.